You might not realize that when you go to shut down your Windows 10 computer, it doesn't actually completely shut it down the way you expect. In fact, Windows 10 has a feature that's on by default called Fast Startup, which is kind of like in between a hibernation type shutdown and a traditional type shutdown. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself and all of the things I just talked about will be made clear, but to go back to the question in the title, should you disable this Fast Startup feature? And obviously, if the answer was as simple as yes or no, the video would be over already. It's clearly not that simple, but we will try to explain it. So to first understand the context behind this, let's go over quickly the different types of shutdowns available in Windows. You're probably familiar with the names of all these, but you might not have known exactly the differences between them. That's what we're going to talk about first. We can first start off with sleep mode. You can kind of think of this basically like the computer being put on pause, where power is cut to everything unnecessary, all unnecessary components like the screen, probably the hard drives, and the processor stops in its tracks, but may still be in an extremely low power state. And everything going on in the computer, the processes are going to be stored in the RAM, and the RAM is gonna be continuously provided with minimal power, because when the RAM loses power, it loses all its data, unlike a hard drive that keeps its data even when it's powered off. And because all the data is still kept in the RAM as usual, it's very fast to resume from sleep mode. However, because the RAM has to be continuously powered, it does use up a little bit of energy. So that means that if you are in sleep mode, the battery still could die. And if the battery for on a laptop, for example, or if there's a power outage on a desktop and power is lost either way to the computer while in sleep mode, then any unsaved data is going to be lost because that was stored in the RAM. And when it Again, when the RAM loses power, it's gone. The next type of shutdown is hibernation mode. This is when, unlike the sleep mode where everything is just kept in the RAM, the RAM is copied to the hard drive and then everything is shut down completely. So all the components are shut down, there's no power to the RAM or anything, but it's stored on the hard drive. And then what happens is when you turn the computer back on, all the RAM data that was stored on the hard drive is copied back onto the RAM and then the computer basically continues where it left off as if you never shut the computer down, everything is still running as it was, any unsaved data is still there. And the advantage of this over sleep mode is because the RAM is not storing the data, it's on the hard drive, even if the computer completely runs out of battery power or the computer loses power completely from the wall, then it's not gonna lose any data because the computer's already off. It doesn't rely on any electricity to store it its state. The downside of this though is that it does take a little bit longer to boot up from hibernation mode because that data has to be copied from the hard drive onto the RAM and hard drives are significantly slower than RAM. But if you are doing this with an SSD, that's of course gonna be a lot faster than a hard drive but everything you do with an SSD is gonna be faster than a hard drive. The next type of shutdown is hybrid sleep, which is actually the default sleep mode in Windows 10. You might not have even known this, but this is how it works. It's basically a combination of hibernation and sleep mode, where but when you go to the sleep, it doesn't actually just store things to the RAM, it both stores everything to the RAM, keeps it in low power, but also stores all that RAM data onto the hard drive, so just in case, the laptop runs out of batteries or the computer loses power from the wall outlet, then that data, yes, it's gone from the RAM, but it's still on the hard drive. So if the computer boots up again and realize, oh my God, the RAM data is gone. It still has it from the hard drive. So this is kind of like the best of both worlds where if everything's fine on boot up, it's super instant, but if the data would have been lost, it's not anymore. So it might take a little bit longer to actually shut down the computer and go into sleep mode because it has to write that data, but you wouldn't even notice it on boot up because if the data is there, then it's just gonna wipe that temporary data in the background while you're using it, no harm, no foul. Now, even though I did mention this is enabled by default on most computers with Windows, on my computer, at least when I check the available power options, it's not because apparently when I have Hyper-V enabled, which is a Windows virtualization feature, it does not work with this. So you might wanna check whether or not you can enable this. And then finally, before we get to the fast startup, we have the traditional regular shutdown, of course. And this is just when you shut down Windows, all the applications are closed, users are logged off, the kernel is shut down, which is like the core of the operating system, all power is cut to components, everything's just shut down. When you boot up, everything's loaded fresh from scratch, 
So it's all renewed. And finally, we come to Fast Startup, the title of this video, which is basically in between a hibernation type shutdown and a regular type shutdown. And this is actually the default in Windows 10. You might not have known this, but when you do a regular shutdown, by default, it's gonna do a, this fast startup shutdown. And unlike a regular hibernation where all data is stored on the hard drive and then loaded back into the RAM so it continues as is, with a fast startup shutdown, all the regular data that you might expect is deleted, like the users logged out, any running processes are shut down, any unsafe data is gone. However, Windows does not actually shut down the kernel and the drivers, so the most basic running process, low level processes are actually stored on the hard drive to continue. So when you turn the computer back on, the most basic operating system files and processes don't have to be reloaded from scratch. So you have the drivers get automatically reloaded as is, the operating system kind of boots back in, but you still have to do things like logging back into the user, running the user startup programs, anything like that. But because the actual operating system base files and processes and drivers don't have to be reloaded, then it's gonna be significantly faster to boot up from a cold boot, even though it looks like it, it's not really that way. So this especially is gonna be a bigger difference on a hard drive, which you know it's gonna take a long time to load those files from scratch, whereas it's just gonna be basically loaded already running onto the RAM, it's gonna be a lot faster. But is there a downside to this fast startup feature? And the answer is, well, there can be in some situations, yes. For example, if you don't know about this feature, then if you go to shut down your computer because something is going wrong and you're like, oh, well, I'm just gonna turn the computer off and on again to fix it, you go to do this shutdown and then you turn it back on, you think you just did a cold reboot where everything's reloaded, but that might not be the case. So if the problem is still occurring, it might have actually been fixed by a cold shutdown, but because everything from the base operating system wasn't actually shut down, then the problem could persist. And this is also going to apply with drivers. So maybe your graphics card is acting up or something like that. There's an error in the drivers. Again, you go to do a full shutdown, you think you're doing a shutdown and it doesn't fix anything even though it should. But there is another important thing to know and that is that the restart function is not affected by this fast startup. So if you go to the start menu, click the power button and actually hit restart, then it does actually dump all the files dump all the kernel processes and restarts everything from scratch. So just know that if you're going to be restarting your, your computer to fix something that's going wrong, you're gonna have to do an actual restart and then it'll do what you expect. Whereas if you do a cold shutdown, it might not. And I think a lot of people might have this backwards. They think, oh, well, a restart doesn't actually shut everything down. So I'm just gonna press the shutdown button and turn it back on when really, with this fast startup feature, you should be doing the opposite. So as long as you know this, there's really not a reason to necessarily disable the fast startup feature unless you have some other reason. And one of these reasons, for example, could be if you're doing dual boot, apparently when you do the fast startup shutdown, it basically locks the Windows drive in some way so that if you boot into another operating system, it might not be able to access that drive well or if you mess around with the partitions while in another operating system after doing a shutdown with the fast startup and the kernel's still loaded there and you mess with the partitions, that could corrupt things. So it's been recommended, I've seen recommendations where if you're dual booting two different operating systems, it's better to actually disable fast startup in Windows. If you wanna check if fast startup is enabled on your computer, which it probably is by default with Windows 10, you can go to the control panel and then hit hardware and sound power options, and then on the left-hand side, click choose what power buttons do. And then in this menu, it'll show you whether that box is checked or not for fast startup. And then you click the uh, UAC uh, permissions thing if you want to change this option. Now, of course, I wanted to see how this setting affected my boot time on my, my computer. So I did a test where I timed from the moment I pressed the power button into when the desktop for Windows first appeared and then timed that and the results were that when the fast startup was on, it was about 40 seconds from the time I pressed the button to when the desktop appeared, and when the fast startup was off, it was like 55 seconds. So it's a significant difference, not massive. I do have a fast SSD, an NVMe M.2 SSD. If it was a hard drive, it would probably be a much bigger difference though. And then just for curiosity, I also timed how long it was from sleep, and with that, it was only about 10 seconds. So clearly, from sleep, it is much faster. So really, I think it's just important to know about this setting that it exists and how it works. 
So the big thing, of course, is gonna be when you go to turn your computer off and on again to fix something, know that you're gonna have to do the restart. That really should be the big takeaway from this video. And if you, for whatever reason, don't want the computer to behave like this on shutdown, now at least you know how to know if it is doing that and how you can disable it. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. If you wanna subscribe, I make a couple videos a week, so it should be worth it to sub. And if you guys wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here. You can just click on those. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you down in the comments, especially if you have any other tips you wanna share with us. So thanks so much again for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.